Hey Floss Tube. So Itty Bitty Stitchy here. I'm sorry, could y'all hear that? My throat just did a weird thing. Itty Bitty Stitchy here. I am here to talk to y'all about Mania. Um, originally I was not going to participate in Mania. I'm still pretty new. But I decided I am. So the last video you saw my haul from San Antonio. Um so that's got me really thinking about starting Mania so I can get all those starts going as well as warm me up working on like even weave and Laguna fabric uh, before I start my first Hade at the end of Mania. Um, as y'all remember, my first Hade I'm doing with two of my awesome friends, uh, Bendy Stitches or Bendy Stitchy, Michelle and um, Kelly Ann. We are little trio group is called the Beastly Unsaved Rabbit Hole. So we are doing our little hate adventure together. So let's get started. I got all my little boxes here. I got some show notes and I got my binder telling me what all is going to happen with what. So let's start. May 1st through 3rd. I will be working on The Cooking House. It is by Nikki's Creation Primitives. I am going to be stitching this on 28 count light khaki gingham. Okay, so here I'm gonna ask y'all this question. I'm saying gingham. So if it's gingham, type one. If it's, I don't know. Never mind. I don't even know how you would say this. But. Ba -ba -da -da. Okay. So this is the cooking house. I um, absolutely love this. This past weekend on Saturday was the autism walk. Uh, we do this every year um, in our city in, of Corpus Christi with our local autism spectrum resource center. Um, they are strictly, what do you call it? Um, they run their business through um, donations. They're strictly donations. And what they do is they provide therapy. Um, and um, whether it's like uh, emotional therapy, if it's speech therapy, if it's occupational therapy, they help get you in the ins and outs and the nose of um, like in touch with people who would really help your child um, grow and learn and achieve so much. If y'all hear elephants running upstairs, that's my sons, my three boys. They just finished lunch and they're going to go run and play video games now after showers. Okay, yes, um, autism walk. So we had my cousin and his family here all weekend and like all weekend, so they ate, um, here all weekend anyway so that's why I love the cooking house because my husband he loves barbecuing for everybody I love baking for everybody baking is a very big passion of mine um, and we just like feeding people like I'm the type of person you come to my house and I'm like you have to eat like you can't come to my house and not eat you have to come you can hang out but you have to eat before you leave it's just maybe it's the southern Texan in me so here's the fabric it's 28 count light khaki gingham I don't know how well she would say that. I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but I don't know. Anyway, I already have all my floss for it. Y'all already saw that in the last video. Which, if you're watching me all over again from my old YouTube account, thank you. <laughs> I finally figured out how to let YouTube let me record longer videos, um, but I had to start a new account because, yes, because reasons. So here's my needle minder for the cooking house. It says, eat me. Can you? Eat me. And it's a strawberry shortcake. It's very pretty. Got some sparkles. I like sparkles. Okay. That, I'll give a sh I think that one is a Gina. Gina's, Gina's Unique Boutique. My needle minders either come from Gina's Unique Boutique 
or Sammy's craft supplies. Both on Etsy. Lord, I love Etsy. But Lord, my bank account don't. Okay, so that one's going to be May 1st through 3rd, House of Cooking. Next, May 4th through 6th, I'm gonna work on tapestry. Tapestry or tapestry. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Um, by Ink Circles on 32 count parchments. That is just gorgeous. It's very antique looking to me. And, um, you know, it just makes me think of stuff they used to stitch back in the day. And when I say back in the day, I mean like way back in the day. Oh, you can't see that. I'm sorry. Had some of the chalk. I don't know why I'm keeping this. That's going to be trash. So, like I said, this one's going to be on 32 count parchment, which I like. It's like treasure map color. What I would think a treasure map would look like. No modeling. But it's a solid color. So I'm very excited. Very excited. Oh, needle minder. Because last time, the needle minders weren't in. So I got like an old fashioned, like my fat fingers here, an old fashioned key. And I love this part of it because it's kind of like Celtic knots. And the tapestry reminds me of Celtic, old fashioned, Disney brave type stuff. So that would be my second start. I don't know if I mentioned, but. <laughs> I'm gonna have eight projects going. Seven of those are gonna be starts and one of them is going to be my Hade. Yes, next. Uh, May 7th through the 9th is going to be the Peacock Mandala. And it's going to be on Northern, it's a, it is a Northern Expressions needlework. Um, I'm going to be stitching it. Is this right side up or upside down? I mean, it's pretty symmetric. I don't think it would matter if it was upside down, but let's try and be correct here. Okay, so very awesome, very beautiful. It'll be my first time working with beads. It'll be my first time working specialty stitches, and I'm ecstatic. Like, there's one type of stitch in there that I'm really okay, making sure I wasn't showing you a trick. Very excited to do. Um, last time I could not figure out the name, I believe. Yeah, I could not figure out the name. This is what the lady wrote. I have the world's worst memory. Like I got the memory span of goldfish. Um, but I'm going to guess that it is Starry Night. Probably butchering that but I do remember it is under the sea fabrics it is from under the sea fabrics she just moved to San Antonio Texas um so yeah so this is that's pretty true to life right there guys boom I even got the sparkles purples and blues and sparkles it's like cotton candy so that is what I'm going to be stitching the peacock mandala on I still have yet to get my other two or three packs of beads I will. I will. But guys, look at this. Look at my gorgeous needle minder. Isn't it beautiful? So this one is another Gina's. Oh, it's slipping. I just cut my nail so I can't grip anything. So that will be the third start. I'm in my room, so I'm just piling this stuff up. Okay. Fourth start, May 10th through 12th, is Get Crackin'. Again, with the plastic. Get Crackin' is going to be stitched for my husband, because I love him, and he is my honey. I love my honey. Um, so I'm hoping him seeing me start this project next month is going to really up his spirits. We, um... It really sucks. We recently lost um, an, a love family member from his side of the family. Um, I know it's my in-laws, but I love them just as much or as I would love my own side of the family. 
so it was very heartbreaking. Um, it just happened last week. <sighs> this, yeah. Well, yeah, we won't get into that. Um, so Get Kraken is an Ink Circles 28 count vintage exemplar. This does have some light modeling. Pretty awesome. And as for my needle minder, I got Medusa. Because who else better to go with the Kraken than Medusa? Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my goodness, she's gorgeous. That one is another Gina's needle minder. Oh heavens. I'm going to have an avalanche. Okay, after you get cracking, I'm going to start coffee and tea. I will be working on it May 13th through the 15th. It's an artiste. artiste. I'm doing it on 14 count cream Ada. This was just something that was on sale in my Hobby Lobby. And I love coffee and I love hot tea. So I must stitch the thing. So here it is. I love it got different kinds of coffees like the espressos and the press it has earl grey tea there's oolong there's iced tea south texans we like our iced tea so i'm excited and i love coffee love coffee mommy's go go juice so here's the cream ada that i will be stitching it on um it's mar it's marbled it's not marble it's modeled um, I really like it. I am not a fabric snob. I will stitch on Ada. I'm still new, so I feel very comfortable stitching on it. Uh, that's the chart. So it comes with the floss. Long, stringy floss. Obviously, it's not DMC. No, it is not. It says... doesn't say who floss it is but it's a floss but not DMC floss and my needle minder I think the coffee stitcher would like this it says coffee addict I do believe this is a Sammy a Sammy needle minder very amazing ladies both of them have the most amazing um, customer service they were both very very kind uh, so that is one, two, three, four, five. That would be my fifth start of May. My sixth start is going to be May 16th through the 18th. The Wonderland Sal from Brooks Books. I'm going to be stitching this on 28 Count Laguna. Um, color, the color is going to be Dusk. My needle minder is a Sammy. I don't know why I kept it on the thingy. But it's Alice and Chess, and they're just chilling in a bunch of cups. Tea cups. Clean cup. Move down, move down, move down. So on the cups, it's got like the pansies, the little flowers from roses, the watch, like the, top, the pocket watch. Drink me and eat me. Love it. Um, so yeah, it'll be these guys in order of how they appear in the book slash movies. Uh, I'll keep going. Don't get out of order. Last one. Okay. Um, I will show you that fabric momentarily um because that fabric is sharing another project i have yet to go to joanne's to have them cut it and score it or um surge it or whatever for me oh sorry i played soccer and my youth and my knees are reminding me of it so after the wonderland i'm going back to my focus for finish um this is the only whip that I have going right now that's not going to be a new start in Mania. This is a Treasure Time by Dimensions Gold Collection. This is the one that I had to do the restart on. 
And I am not angry about the restart. I learned so much from my first try. I really did. And I, I wouldn't trade that for the world. Because what's the point of living if you don't make mistakes and learn? So as you can see, we got some of the clouds and the sunset. We got a big tree. Got a bush. Right here is where the light of the lantern is going to be. And then we got the reef that's attached to the lamp. The lamp post, street lamp light. Here's the post. We get the start of steps and some bushes. And we got half a bunny. Half a little bunny with some ice and snow. I love this stitch. It makes my heart happy. I'm a December baby. Um, I have a twin brother. So I guess he's, yeah, he's a December baby too. Uh, I've always enjoyed Christmas time. Uh, so yeah, Christmas baby. I mean, you have to. You gotta love the month you're born in. I'm not sports crazy. I like how they just stick together though. Like you can just like, see, they're like, don't even have to tell them. So that is... Oh, sag it. My wart so far. And let me put this up. After I work on that. Now this one, I'm going to be working from the 19th to the 23rd because it is my focus for a finish. Um, then the beastly unsaved rabbit hole starts. We are all starting our first hate on May 24th. And I will be working on mine through the 31st. So if y'all remember, I said I was stitching the favorite for my first Cade. I absolutely love her. Her name is Claire. I've given her a name. Her name is Claire and her monster is Doogie. Claire and Doogie. Isn't that just amazing? It's beautiful, it's creepy, it is 110% me. If there was ever a stitchy stitch to stitch that described me, it's the favorites. Because I love dark and creepy things, but I'm, I'm also, I like the pretty things. So yes, the favorites. My needle minder. It's a creepy eye. Ooh, he's... So my little eye is going to be staring at me, making sure I get it done right. Here is the Laguna 28 Count Dusk. That's pretty true to life right there. Um, on the site, I can't remember which site. On the site, uh, it looked gray. Gray modeled, but it is green. Like forest dark green modeled. Um, still beautiful. Still going to be a beautiful stitch. Um, but originally, I thought it was going to look... If you go over to Kellyanne's um, YouTube videos, she just dyed her fabric for her... It's called... Um, it's called Nothing Can Save Me. Beautiful Catholic girl crying, trying to do the rosary. Um, it's amazing. I, I, I love that. And... Um, she dyed her fabric for that, and it is gorgeous, and that is exactly what I wanted to do my Alice stitch on. Um, so, I'm probably going to have to steal her idea on stitching that. So, that is Mania. Uh, wow, that only took me 19 minutes, and I even ranted a smidgen. Okay. So, I also was talking to y'all last time about, um, let's see, so I got my current whip, my kits, and my other projects that are waiting to be kitted. So, my other projects that are waiting to be kitted, I went to the CVS and I got, um, like, pictures made of them because I am not technical. I am very much on the same level of technicality as the Night Owl Stitcher. Um, if you haven't watched any of her videos, I suggest you do. She's the sweetest thing ever, and she's she's just awesome. 
I love the Night Owl Stitcher. Um, so she's always talking about how people are like, so they say, insert soto photo here, and somehow y'all do some technical magic and poof, the screen has the picture. I don't know how to do that. And she's like, well, insert photo here, and she actually holds the picture up. I'm doing that today, so thank you, Night Owl Stitcher, for that awesome idea for us untechnical people. So I will be doing... Yes, I will be showing you that as well as I already have the needle minders for them because needle minders. Um, by the way, I am the stitcher that once you use a needle minder for a project, it is retired. You cannot reuse it. Every project has its own needle minder. That's me. But I love the needle minders because they're pretty. Okay, so let me find it. I guess I could have been more prepared. So some of these are pictures that I took from my phone of my computer screen. I know, that's how bad I suck in technology. Um, so this one, a lot of these are from Etsy and a lot of them did not have proper names. So I just named them myself. This one I'm calling Disney Alice. I love anything and everything Alice in Wonderland. Let me back it up a bit so I can point something out. I love how it like divides the screen in half. You have the real world up here and then you have Wonderland down here. Um, it's rumored to be that the original Alice in Wonderland was actually Alice in Underland. So I love that. Uh, this one's really neat. It has a lot of cool stuff. Anytime I get the Tweedles, I love it. Am I panning slow enough? Okay. For her needle minder, I'm going to use the hatter. Let me see. He's got a teapot and a cup. So the hatter will be used for her. Next up, we have the Alice Portraits. Again, my name's for them because it makes more sense to me. Lottie D. I'm stalling because I'm trying to get organized. Okay. Here's Alice Portrait. It says, Follow the White Rabbit kind of bad girl Alice, I guess. It's got the bitchy flower person. I like that. Oh, that was a big glare, I'm sorry. So I like her, I actually have the fabric for her, I just need to dye it. And um, I think the girls and I, when I say the girls, I am always referring to Kelly and Michelle from our Beastly Unsaved Rabbit Hole. I think the girls and I agreed that she would look best on like um, like a skin tone. So I think I'm just going to like tea dye it. Um, so it looks like a tattoo on, on skin, I guess, when I stitch it up. Speaking of tattoos, here is my tattoo. Can y'all see it? It is the tattoo of my kids. Oh, Lord. I'm being horrible at this. I really like it. It's very Tim Burton-y to me. Y'all see my princess? Princess Poppy back there? Okay, so for Alice Portrait, I am, of course, doing a little Alice in Portrait. These are Sammy's. Like, all these ones I'm going to be showing you are Sammy's craft supplies. Okay, next is Pirates of the Caribbean. This is another one from my honey. Honey loves Pirates of the Caribbean. Look, they got the asshole oh, monkey named Jack, and they got the black pearl. Got your little parrot, or pi parrot, your pirate fighting down there. So for his, the needle minder, because we all love needle minders. Little skull and crossbones. Knox is Sabrina the Baking Elf. Where did she go? 
Come on. Sabrina. Sabrina the baking elf. It's a head. Um, like I said earlier, I, I love baking from scratch. So I saw her and she was adorable. So not only does she is she a baking elf, she also looks like a Christmas elf. And I was like, that's two of my favorite things. So I have her. And she has this, ooh, jeepers. Jeepers, creepers. Has a little pink, light, pink lady. I like her. And still life. Still life is beautiful. Unfortunately, when I did this one, it cropped off like some of the top and some of the bottom. But it's very, very pretty. Like I said, this is one of those where I like the pretty things. Nothing dark or creepy, just pure beauty. One of these days, I'm going to own a tea set. Today is not that day, but I hope that day happens soon. Um, so I guess I hadn't ordered a needle minder for it yet. So, um, this was a freebie from Gina. So for now, the sugar skull will be for still life if I haven't found any. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, now... Oh, there it is. Oh, cheapers. Y'all, I'm having a heck of a time here. Can y'all hear my kids? They're like yelling. Bang. Okay. Alice Falling. Beautiful. It's got chess up here. We got a hatter. We have... I think that's dormy right yeah we got dormy we got the rabbit we got pillar you got the caucus race people up here you know the dodo and everybody they're running around in circles trying to get dry but the water keeps splashing them so they never get dry i love it it's adorable for alice falling we are gonna have drink me for the needle minder Next, we have Alice Stained Glass. So many things I like about this. Um, let me try scooch closer and point everything out. Okay, so we're going to go little bit by little bit. Obviously, you have to have the tea party. And we got Dormy in the thing. I love that they added the, the kooky little bird glasses and the bird pencils and the dog with the, the broom face brushing off the red trail. We have the house, the white rabbit's house. White rabbit, Alice. We have Tweedledee and Tweedledum, the walrus and the carpenter who tricked the oysters. But my favorite part is right here. They have the moon and the sun that's called the middle of the night. They like split the beach in half like the middle of the night. Love that part. Of course, you got your eat me, you got the key, you got the drink me. We got the caucus race that I was just talking to y'all about. Um, we got the flowers. That's the bitchy flower. The queen and the cards. Okay, there they are. You got the flamingo and the hedgehog, the pillar. Bread and butterfly, if y'all remember correctly. Bread and butterfly, not butterfly. And the rocking horse fly. So many things I love about this. So I call that one my Alice stained glass. For her, we have the pillar. My hair is a mess, y'all. Sorry, I'm not sorry. It's been a rough, rough week. And I say a week because it hasn't been a week since we lost him. Uh... Next up is Awakening. I already know where she's going to be hung. She will be hung in my bedroom. But she's absolute beauty. So soft. So beautiful. Um, and she's a brunette. Brunettes. we got to stick together. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
excuse me. So for her needle minder, we have Dean Winchester from Supernatural. His nice little blue steel look going on. Last but not least, we have my beautiful mermaid. Warning to any of you moms who have your, or dads, who have your little kids um, watching, there is about to be some nudity. I will give you some time. I'll get a drink while I'm waiting. Please clear all children out of the room. This is my drink of choice. I love it. Okay, kids out of the room? Awesome. Here's my mermaid. She will be hung in my bathroom. I very much love the beach. I am an avid beach comber. I love going to the beach and combing for shells. I have some pretty cool finds. And while we're at the beach, honey and the boys fish. They go surf fishing. And yes. This, the water actually looks a lot like the water we have here in Corpus. I don't go swimming in the Corpus Beach. I go to um, Padre Island. And the seagulls. There's my beautiful mermaid. I love her. Not a Mirabilia. I don't care. I'm a rebel. So for the needle miner for her, we got another mermaid with some chesticles sticking out. So those are the things that I wanted to show you. Put all this up. One last thing I wanted to talk to y'all about. Stitchy snacks. Because what's more fun than stitching? But eating. So I have two of my favorite stitchy snacks. I got banana chips. And wasabi peas. So yummy. Very yummy. And of course I have my Zion's. I like the cran raz flavor or like the mango guava. So please comment, by the way, what is your favorite stitchy snack? There's your homework. I am a homeschool mom. I give homework to everybody. So your homework is to comment with your favorite stitchy snack. Also, you can comment your favorite, or not your favorite, but your current read. So currently I'm still working on Cameron J's this is book two of his Insanity series. It's called Figment. Um, it's a beautiful take on Alice in Wonderland. Um, it's just really cool. I don't even know how to explain it. But it does have an asylum in it. And I'm a sucker for anything that takes place in an asylum. If it's a movie about an insane asylum, I love it because most of the time they're scary. Um, so yes. This is my current read. I obviously haven't had a lot of reading time. All last week, my head wasn't in anything. I barely got any stitching done. Um, I didn't get any reading done. My heart was solely on thinking of my family and our loved one and how much we dearly miss him. Uh, so yes, um, not gonna get sad on y'all. Not gonna get sad. Okay, so um, yes. I am going to try and get more reading time in. So, because I really am enjoying this series. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Um, today is April 24th, Monday at 4.31 in the afternoon. I am going to let y'all go finish your work day if you're at work. If you're at work, you shouldn't be watching these. Um, so yes, homework, comments with your favorite stitchy food. And yes, I will talk to y'all probably the first week into Mania. I will give you a little tidbit on how things are progressing, how I'm liking stitching on something other than Ada. Um, yeah, so if y'all have any tips and tricks on that, by the way. Let me know in the comment section. Y'all are more than welcome to always find me on Instagram. You can find me at itty bitty stitchy on Instagram. 
And yeah, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye, guys.